Stephen, I mean, just tell me how much are you kind of dwelling on, on the results of the weekend and has it been easy to, to move past that? Oh, this, this is football. Like, I mean, the first game of the season against Newcastle Jets, we didn't get uh, too high in it. Next day, back in, concentrate on the following game, which is Brisbane, and that's all we do. Every game gets put aside, move on to the next one. And uh, for us, we don't dwell on uh, the past and looking forward to the, uh, the Melbourne game now. And has, is it safe to say the messages from Mark have been exactly the same as it would have been had you won 3-0 as if you lose 3-0 or no? Look, as usual, you just come game plan ready for the Melbourne game, um, looking at the Melbourne video of what we need to do and the, uh, the game plan that lies ahead for us. And uh, yeah, we'll look at the, uh, the positives moving forward this week. Another good training session for the boys and uh, good spirits around the camp, which is always good. Just in terms of how you guys broke down that, that game on Saturday night, I mean, have you got any more of an inkling into, into what went wrong on your end? I think they played the conditions better than what we did and uh, they deserved it. Uh, on the night they were the better team, so we have to uh, take that on the chin and uh, we'll move forward from that. What did, the, what did the coach say uh, after Saturday night? We, uh, we discussed uh, a few things uh, after the, the, uh, the game in the change room. That's just uh, us as players, we talk amongst ourselves and uh, moving forward, what we need to do for the uh, the Melbourne game, complete different game. Similar to the Newcastle game, we weren't particularly happy with our team performance, um, but we improved, I think, the Brisbane game, and uh, we probably should have won that game uh, with the chances that we had. There's been a lot of momentum behind the team this year, um, all the season. What does a loss kind of do to, to knock that down, or are you guys... Not with, nothing with this group of players that we've got here, we've got big characters and uh, players who you know relish this kind of opportunity and it's only really the outside that I want to look into it. It's been a great start for Wellington. I think yeah, the last time they've had a, a start like this was years ago and uh, you know to get the uh, the points that we have on the table now and uh, the boys are in a positive frame of mind. And you can tell by the training this morning everyone's uh, looking forward to the Melbourne game. It's a massive game for us. They'll be under a lot of pressure and they're going to have to try and uh, take the game to us. So we'll go there at the front foot, excited for it. And, uh, like I said, we, we're going to stand up and be counted for it. And how disappointing was it to concede three goals? Um, obviously, the team wants to yeah, concede. We tried to take the game. I think it was, it was, when it was 1 0, we're still putting their uh, bodies forward, we're, we're chasing the goal, and then they got the penalty. And for me, it wasn't a penalty. Um, it's a duel on the side of his elbow, but it's uh, for me uh, very, very soft. We've seen a few of them this season already in the A League, but you have to accept that. And we'll still push again, we'll keep going, we're not going to lie back and just take a 2 0. We went for it, try to get a, a goal and back into it. And I think it was from our own was set piece. Um, the courts in the counter attack, but uh, it, was, it was disappointing on the night. Uh, but we'll move on. It's uh, it's going to be put to bed. And now we'll just concentrate on the uh, the Melbourne game. But like I said before, just like the first game of the season, we don't dwell on that. And we never get too excited when we do get a good result as well. How do you find playing in those conditions? Um, it's something that happens in Wellington with the, the wind and the rain. It doesn't matter. It's, just, it's a game of football. You happen to all over against snow. You're going to hailstones, wind, no matter what it is. You have to deal with the conditions and on the day that they dealt with it better. You mentioned Melbourne City are under pressure. Um, you've got the same record as Melbourne City, so are you guys under pressure as well? Not at all. We, uh, we relish this, I think, for them. Uh, the so-called big club everyone keeps talking about and uh, they've had a, a bad result as, as well. Um, so for us, we're going to go there confident, but they're going to have to come with uh, us. I think what we've got going forward will hurt them. Uh, if they give us any uh, chances, I'm sure we'll punish them. The coach talked about uh, Performing on the training pitch to you know impress and make sure that you get into a starting lineup and that sort of thing. So this week has that been different at all or more intensity? Obviously, yeah, the, the manager look at the uh, the Melbourne team and who he thinks is good enough to, to play and win uh, that game. So we're working a few things. Just like after the Newcastle game, he was going to change a few tactical things against uh, Brisbane, which we did. Uh, every game is going to be different. Um, you know, it's going to be, we want to be on the front foot and taking the game to teams. I think over the years, uh, Wellington's you know, I think maybe give teams too much respect. But for us, uh, we go there positive and, and believing we can win every game. That's how we go in every game, and it'll never change. Last question: Is the team learning to like? You know, when this is the first time you conceded a goal early and you're kind of chasing the game. Yeah, how much harder is that for the team? Is there something you've got to kind of learn to, to find a way back? No, I think we, we do that in training. We, we learn different tactics. We've been two down, three down, uh, coming back from the. We, we did it last week. Uh, three 0 down, come back to win four three in, in little practice games and amongst ourselves. Uh, that's it's, it's an excuse, I think, from the guys who haven't played uh, the game of football so we just concentrate on what we need to do our jobs and it's only now you start to see people uh, you know, chirping up um, when we've had a one one defeat but we let them talk and for us now we stick together got a good unit 
and uh, look forward to the uh, Melbourne game and hopefully get the result that we want.